I did some cases that involve uh, uh, bank embezzlement, and I, I used to do, and I've done it from nor minorities in business, a little uh, small seminar on how to protect yourself against employee theft. And I gave them a, a few cues. And one of the things you got to worry about, you worry a, a leery of the employee who wants to work more hours than necessary, uh, comes in on weekends. Generally, I found in those bank embezzlement cases, uh, overwhelmingly, these people are uh, embezzling money from not only the company, but as well as from the bank. And it's typical in those cases. Uh, you have an employee who's enthusiastic, works long hours, willing to work on weekends, shows up uh, unannounced, and those kind of things uh, should send red flags to your accountability department. Uh, make sure you check those books. And I'm amazed on how people have allowed these embezzlement cases to go on for as long as they are. But those people who are stealing from the company generally appear to be very nice, uh, personable, but uh, at the end of the day, they're personable and very nice, overly nice. I'm not saying everybody, but overly nice uh, for a reason. The important thing is, to remember, you always should have checks and balances in any of your systems. Uh, redundancy is a good thing. It's one of the things I learned in the military. You've got to have redundancy as well as checks and balance on every step of a process and that's the best thing for a business to cover themselves never have one person take in the money and also be the person that keeps the book